Winter is artificial at the Beijing Olympics, at least in terms of snow. But how do athletes feel about competing on it and the threat of climate change? Two Americans competing for medals in Beijing on that man-made snow are skiers Kevin Bolger and Julia Kern. They had different paths to success. I have German roots. My whole family's from Germany. Germany originally and that's how I got into skiing. My grandparents would teach me, we would visit over Christmas um, to see family. We would all ski together as a family and so um, I got skiing at since I could walk. Probably the first race I ever did when I was in third grade and I remember winning one of those like a chocolate medal or something and being like this is pretty awesome. Let's let's keep doing this. Bolger grew up in Wisconsin while Kern gained her experience in Massachusetts and with her grandparents in Germany. But both winter athletes have noticed the environment changing around them. It's been interesting to see the transformation of places where we normally see snow year after year having less and less snow. Some years are good winters, but um, I remember as a kid, I would go to Germany every Christmas to go ski with my family. And my childhood memories are always reliable snow, sledding out the door, skiing out the door. Um, and now that's not the case anymore. Um, there's often no reliable snow over Christmas, so I don't always spend Christmas with my family there anymore. And on the World Cups, more and more um, venues have to have snowmaking as an option to even host a World Cup to guarantee good snow conditions. Well, you're from Wisconsin where there's lots of natural snow. Um, what's your experience of climate change been like? It's something we've been kind of experiencing year after year after year. And um, even in Wisconsin, I mean, I'm not living there full time anymore, but getting updates from my parents and remember growing up as a kid, we always had snow on Halloween almost. Like we almost had to pick a costume that you were, you were warm because you had to go walk around. So, but now getting updates from them, you know, we're not getting snow until maybe Christmas, um, which is crazy. Um, and then for us, I mean, a lot of the venues now that we go to, even in Scandinavia, um, where they record snow sometimes as early as like September, they're not seeing snow now until, um, almost after we're supposed to be racing there. And it's a question of whether we get to race a full 5K loop like we get to sometimes, or if we're on these smaller two to two and a half K loops and we're just doing loops and loops and loops for our races. So um, it's, a, it's a scary thing to be a part of. Warmer winters have also affected the way that these two Olympians train. Now we're having to make adjustments in our training to find snow to go get on snow so that when we roll around in the season, um, we have that snow feeling under our feet. Um, and it, that's been harder and harder to do. Um, we need to roller ski a lot more, which is, um, they're kind of like roller blades, but it's, they're, uh, our ski boots attached to them. And we're having to do that more and more and more. Things are rapidly changing. Um, to man-made snow, thankfully, we can do city sprints like we did the last five years in Dresden. They make snow somewhere and then truck it in. And I think that's really exciting. But also I think that might be our future is that there will be a lot more man-made um, options and we'll have to rely more heavily on having snow reserves early season um, in certain venues or snow making indoors. And I actually got to experience for the first time this year skiing in a, in a tunnel in Oberhof, Germany, where they have snow year round in a tunnel that's refrigerated. Yeah. Oh. To, to think that that's where racing and skiing and winter sports could eventually go, it's, it's, it's pretty unfortunate to even have to have this discussion about that. Before they went to compete in Beijing, they expressed concern about the future of winter sports amid speculation that in the future, winter sports could be indoors or all on man-made terrain. One of the things I love about skiing is being outside in nature and spending that with others and enjoying the natural beauty of winter. Um, I hope that we can not have that future in 10 years or at all for our kids. Um, I think one of the magical powers of having seasons is being able to have snowy winters and warm summers and um, enjoy the different activities, not have to artificially make indoor facilities too do those sports. It's a very scary thing to think about because skiing and gliding on snow is something I love to do. Um, and that's why I love this sport. Um, so to think about where it could be in five, 10, 15, 20 years from now, and to think that there might not be a world cup, there might not be a cross country circuit in Europe or in anywhere in the world. And that 
you know, there might be this, this shift to where we're roller skiing more and we're racing on roads and we're not on snow because of the, um, what's going on in the world with climate change. And it's, it's a, it, it puts a pit in my stomach and I'm even getting warm now. And it's just, it, it's really scary. And it's, it scares me a lot. While competing for Olympic glory, the fate of their sport and snowy winters are something Kevin Bolger and Julia Kern are speaking up about. 